What's going on y'all? It's Osaro about JPEG from Lids and Kicks. Welcome back to yet another video. And as you guys can see already today, I have the Air Jordan Fire Red 4. Yeah, so like I said, welcome back to the channel y'all. It's Osaro about JPEG from Lids and Kicks. Today's sneaker review is for the 2020 Air Jordan Fire Red 4. It comes with that throwback, you know, Nike Air heel tab and also on the insole. And as many of you guys know, this shoe dropped at the end of November, so a few weeks ago. I think it was on Black Friday, actually. I know that a lot of people took some, some W's that day, so these were pretty, uh, pretty readily available if you really wanted to cop. Yeah, this sneaker right here definitely wasn't overhyped or anything like that. This sneaker release really caters towards like the OG Jordan fans and like the true sneakerheads, I would say, opposed to, you know, more of like the hype stuff, like the off-white and, you know, different collabs like that. But this is really for true, for like true Jordan fans, true sneaker fans, or anyone that's into like vintage or retro uh, sneakers. Yeah, so these were pretty readily available if you really wanted them. They, uh, the retail price was 200, so for me, plus like the tax, and um, I'm not sure if my shipping was free or not, but anyways, uh, altogether it was like about 215, I would say. And due to the fact that this shoe wasn't like overhyped, and also because everyone that wanted a pair probably got a pair, um, the resale price is pretty low. It's um, almost the same as the, uh, as the retail price, it's about $240 right here. This is a size 11, so it's like $20 more. So if you did miss out on release day, you could go on StockX and um, get a pair now. If you're really a, a OG Jordan fan, you'll really love this shoe. I definitely wouldn't recommend this shoe to like resell or anything like that. You, if you did want to resell this shoe, you'd have to wait like a, I would say you'd have to wait a long time to really see a real profit in this. And for myself personally, this shoe is really a treat just because I love OG Jordan throwback vintage clothing and um, as a kid that didn't grow up in the, sort of the late 80s, I wasn't, you know, a teenager when these shoes dropped back in 89. So it gives me the great opportunity to rock these now and really uh, enjoy that throwback OG Jordan feel. Cause um, these are some of my favorite sneakers that ever released, you know, before I was even born. So it gives me the opportunity to rock them now. I've always been a big fan of the Fire at Fours. The last time these dropped was in like 2012, but it had like the Jumpman on the back. I really just like what Nike's doing overall with a lot of their Jordan 4s and their OG Jordan silhouettes is adding that, uh, just adding that OG and vintage branding. Um, it really uh, gives it a different style. I really like it a lot. And uh, I love what they did with the, the white cement 4s that dropped a few years ago, with the bread 4s that dropped like last year. And uh, now with these and um, the military blue fours are also scheduled to release or they're rumored to release, excuse me, for, uh, for next year. So I'd be excited to cop those if those come out too. I'm definitely an OG Jordan fan. I'm sure you guys have seen many, many reviews and videos about this on YouTube. I'm sure these are everywhere by now. And um, I definitely plan on doing a, um, like a how to style video, pair some outfits with these so you guys can see you know, some drip with the shoes, some ideas for outfits with these, especially as hopefully outside starts to open back up within the next few months or so. So yeah, that's about it for this. It's a short little sneak review for the Air Jordan Fire Red 4 2020. Make sure you like and subscribe, osaro.jpeg, lids and kicks. We're gonna get into the on feet and the B-roll portion of this video. So like I said, make sure you like and subscribe. More videos are on the way. Peace.